right, you guys, and we're back with round five um, in our Swiss rounds at the Birmingham Star Wars Destiny Regional. I'm here with Fortune Voyager from Jackalman Games, and I am Karma from uh, Dothan Death Watch in our local group. Uh, we're back here. We got the uh, Shadowcaster reset. I actually faced this deck um, earlier in the day, and then we got our guy from Jackalman as well, Headless Jenga, back at the top table with his Han Kira wrecking the day uh with this deck doing very well for the jackalman guys look at you you managed to do the whole intro thank you good job all right so uh i do want to mention that this is kind of the second version of shadowcaster reset uh yes. that has appeared the original version of course being one that we actually have taken to a few events the l3 uh engineer engineer deck i just want to throw that out there i did get top four in atlanta with that deck uh at the regional with the uh, l3 engineer and i got 16th but uh <laughs> anyways um, so here I'd probably, I don't know, I want to say that I'd actually favor Han Kira here because it can just it drop can a character per turn. Literally can pop a character, especially that Gungan, and that Gungan's there to help mitigate damage. Right. And with it being both yellow hero and villain uh, events, it's got mitigation for days. Yes. So yeah, roll in your Shadowcaster, I'll just mitigate it five times. Mm -hmm. Hope to God that you have TLT. <laughs> And we uh, know or from earlier, I think he was running Vandalize, correct? In the he was running yeah. Vandalize. So uh, he's prepared for stuff like this. So getting rid of Shadowcaster with yeah. Vandalize is pretty hard to do because it removes all of your character dice. Yeah, and but if it, you have a dead character, you can't do it. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still a possible way to drop the big damage dealer in that deck. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the roll off. Uh, it looks like Django 1 got two shields down on Yoda, it appears. Uh, and then we yes. got the power action for three resources, spotting a yellow or spotting a neutral and playing the hidden blaster to remove a shield from Yoda and then a roll in. Let's see if he has a drop in for even more. Re just, uh, nope. Just regular rolling. This deck is uh item versus just favorite thing. If item versus gets to roll out first, that's <laughs> never going to happen. I know, but just <laughs> if it did, I mean, right. she's just waiting for all that. So Han rolled into two damage, a resource and a blank and, and then gun. hired gun rolling in for that. What's that, a three? Uh, I think it has a, I think it has like a two Does it have a, a three two side? One? I don't know, it has to be a two for one. There's no way that, uh... Higher Gun has several, a couple of pay sides, yeah. so, um... He's strong, but at the same time, costly. Yeah, pull that up for me so we know what sides it has. I think it's a two for one. There's no way that they put a three for one on, uh... I mean, unique. uh... The Wookiee Warrior has a three for one Yeah, that's a Wookiee, though. <laughs> Alright, so we do see drop in on Kira. So he activates, gets the resource and the blank on her. Definitely not what you want to see when you're dropping your action cheating like drop in. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see damage resolved here, it looks like. That drop in in that deck is very good. Because, yes. I mean, most of the time it does tend to win the roll off. So two damage gets dropped onto Yoda, removing his last shield, putting one onto him. Gungan Warrior comes in. See, this is the weird thing about, like, old school hero vehicle decks. Uh, like you were saying, the one that we're seeing right now is your uh, Shadowcaster Reset style. Mm -hmm. But that's basically the same type of team that used to be ran in, uh, used to be ran in, uh, what's it, what was it called? Drive-by shooting? Yeah. Where it just dropped a mass amount of vehicles and upgrades and just killed you that way. That doesn't really exist anymore. It's all like single vehicle decks now. Yeah, I mean, when you have that ability currently to just reset one powerful vehicle, and your opponent eventually is going to run out of ways to stop it. Yeah. We do see a really strong easy pickings play to remove both of Yoda's dice. Uh, which, if you win any time, any time that you can get rid of Yoda's dice, it's a win, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Discard to reroll into uh, three right for back one. Right into that three for one. Yeah. I was incorrect. Uh, hired Gun does indeed have a three for one blaster side. Yeah. Both his uh, damage sides are actually paid sides. I mean, it definitely makes sense considering the character's name. Right. Uh, and then we see a discard to reroll into some uh, money and a shield. Mm -hmm. Why Why do you think the hired gun got rerolled there? Probably because she wants to save the money for the armored reinforcement play, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely saving yeah. the money. She was trying to get resources on because I, I played the deck, like I said, a little bit earlier. And um, that's all. She would turn those dice straight into resource sides with Yoda's dice to right. go ahead and get the money. And since he removed Yoda's dice, she didn't have any choice except to reroll over and over again until she got what she needed. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, hey, if you're willing to get rid of some of your mitigation for later on, then I would be okay with that. True, and it looks like she got rid of some pretty important cards. Shadowcaster does come down uh, for three resources, but that also means that she has no resources available to resolve any of its sides or to play any mods from her hand, too. Yeah. Unless she has um, the Astromech and where she can uh, play that for free. Right. 
You have to be pretty lucky to draw that in the opening hand, though. And I don't think I see it yeah, uh, see as she caster. reveals her hand. Now, if you were playing Fire Spray, the Artcaster would go down for free. That's very true. <laughs> so Shadowcaster comes in, basically has a 1 in 6 chance of getting something resolvable at the moment. And it looks like it's probably the 3 for 1. Yeah. But it, um, it still can't be resolved either way because she has no mods. Yep. So Shadowcaster, good, but not as good unless it has mods on it. You've got to get those mods down, yeah. which is the one thing that I don't like about this version of the deck. Uh, it, like, you're not guaranteed mods because you can't cycle through your entire deck without the engineers. Yeah, you can't get to them just as easily. It's definitely more consistent once you have your mods down, though, as mm -hmm. long as Yoda's still around, which I feel like Yoda's going to be the target. It's pretty much always going to be the first target because, one, he's two dice, and two, he's Yoda. Yeah, and... Uh... The higher gun has two sides, but they're pay sides, and the Gungan just, it doesn't yeah. do very well. The much. Gungan's just there for health. Yeah. And red. He's there to be a uh, garbage shoot and stuff like that. Yeah. And the only reason that I even hesitated at all talking about Yoda as the first target is because things like uh, yellow mitigation exists. Spot yeah. yellow. Uh, we do see TLT come down, which is huge. Yes. Usually, if you can guarantee TLT down on your Shadowcaster, you're good to go. All right. So Han rolls in the old fashioned way. Looks like you got one range and resource, resource. All right. And it looks like we also had the uh, Shadowcaster claim the, ra uh, the round before as well. Yeah, rolling back into more damage. Uh, once again, you got to pay for it, but um, I honestly feel like she's probably trying to either hit resources for uh, more mods, I would think, just right. to keep the Shadowcaster going. Yeah, I definitely think early game the two damage sides on Hired Gun are basically blanks because yep. you're not going to be resolving them at all with this version of the deck. No. Yeah, late game, then it'll be okay. But even then, you might uh, if you have two of those Astromechs down, you're, you're, you're looking to reset twice right. if you can. All right, so we got a plus Good one board. resource, plus one resource, <laughs> and a disrupt. I mean, if you just want to make a lot of money right now. Yeah. But, I mean, also... Um, to think about it too, the vandalize can come in handy because you can vandalize the mods, the mods on the Shadowcaster really and that hurts important. it yeah. too. So four focus down on Yoda, so she's getting whatever she wants this turn. Yes. We're probably going to see either a bait and switch or a discard to reroll here. Yeah. And we know we saw that arc caster in her hand, so she may be looking to try to play that too to get the sec a second mod right. down. Right. If she had the Astromech, she would have played it. Yeah, she could. Uh, hired Gun doesn't have, does he have a resource sign? He has two. So she could double focus into a Yoda special and a resource side and get that arc caster down before she rolls in. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely, I feel like that's what she's looking to try to do right now. Or either that or maybe she has a dorsal turret as well. Right. All right, so we saw a discard to reroll, wants on destruction, getting discarded. Oh more money. More money and <laughs> but he does a couple have, more damage. That's yeah. important. He's got three damage sitting out there right now, yep. four resources showing and disrupt. And it looks like Gungan got uh, damage. Yeah, he did. Sticks. He got a one melee. Oh, we and saw the bait and switch. switch. God, I love bait and switch. I'm going right, to miss it, too. So that's one, two, three, four, five damage. That's that's a three for one, so that's six damage. Six damage, which kills Yoda. That's and that such stops, a good play. That stops all the resource generation yeah. that turn. And it stopped the focuses before she could even resolve them. Yeah. And so, oof, that's tough. Like, it's tough not to just call the game right then, because she has no way to really do anything more yeah, she, this turn. She would have to pitch to even try to get resource sides now, and you have a chance at hitting, but not nearly as high now with your focus gone and Yoda gone. Right. And if you had any spot blue cards that are dead. Yeah. Yeah, use, losing Yoda to a bait-and-switch play there was massive. Yeah, so she has a couple of mods in her hands, but she doesn't yeah. have the money. So she activates Shadowcaster, which I think is the correct play there, because now she can discard to reroll all four of her dice if they're not sides that she yeah. wants. But it does look like she hit the 4-4-1. Uh, four, four, yeah, the 4-4-1 four, four, and 2 range. And 2 range. So she's got one mod, so that's resolvable for 4 damage and 2 ranged and a damage from Gungan. So she's not doing bad for damage this turn. Yeah, and he can't remove that uh, 4 damage either. Because of TLT. He can yep. remove the 2 damage yep. from TLT, but... But that one, which... I'd rather take the indirect because you can split it up. Yeah, uh, no good. Or uh, he doesn't like you. He removes, uh, it looked like Kira's die to probably remove the two damage side. Yeah. Yep. And it's crucial, too, for the player with the Shadowcaster to remember that they can't get rid of the other die either. Right. Because, uh, you know, if yeah. they as, remove it and they let it happen, that's, you know, that's on them. As we saw during the game last round, it's up to both players to know the rules of the game. So if something like that slips through, it happens. Yep. Uh, we see so a, she did have a discard in the dorsal turret 
to roll into more indirect and uh, that three for hard one. gun, man. Hard guns is, rolling hot. He is rolling very hot. If only I could pay yeah. for it. <laughs> like she wants the resources, obviously not the damage. But if she had the money for that, hard gun would be doing more damage to the shadow caster right now. Right. It's crazy. I mean, she does he's got have two the power sets. action on Thebe, though. Yep, so maybe she, she gets to resolve it. And oh, he had yeah, a disrupt, disrupt on the hidden blaster. <laughs> Rip. So good. <laughs> so here's another discard to reroll. Ooh, there went the arc caster. Yeah, like I was saying early, losing Yoda at that exact moment, it's, hey, it's hard to not say the, the game's over there. There's a resource, <laughs> but I mean, like, she doesn't even need it at this point, yeah, right? I mean, at least she'll have an extra resource going into the next round. Right. And have a potential chance of drawing into uh, more mods. Was the, uh, is it a uh, four for two? Or is it a four um, for one? Unless that's the five. Five. Yeah, it might be the five. He just dropped three, six. So it must be the seven. five. So that was not the five, the not okay. the four. All right, that apologies. makes sense why she was looking for the extra resource yeah. then. It was, uh, when it's further off on the table, it's harder to see exactly what it is. They see the same thing we're seeing. I'm sure it's hard for them to see too. Yeah, but they're also relying on us to commentate it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, have you ever listened to us talk? We're obviously... Uh, incorrect we, a lot of the We times. swear we know how to play this game. No. I've, <laughs> how I've been playing the past couple of nights, I don't think I know how to play this oh game. Oh my goodness. I mean, I mean, just, it's a dice game. That's yeah. all I can say. All right. So we saw a reset going into the next round. And we got Jeff's, or excuse me, Django. Let's use our code names. Yes. Uh, we're using our made up names. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> I'm Wonder Woman. So I was going to say we have Django <laughs> sitting pretty over there with uh, four resources. He drops two of them for an X8, which is an amazing weapon in this deck. God, I'm going to miss it. I'm just going to ah. talk about all the cards I'm going to miss. He didn't get any damage, though. Mm. That's ridiculous. The amount of damage sides that he has to have none showing. You know how much that hurts when you're playing aggro? It hurts <laughs> Yes, a lot. as an aggro player, I yes. do indeed know how that it, feels. It hurts, and now she's getting resources. <laughs> yeah. I almost feel like you could run logistics in there because nobody's trying to kill Gungan first. No one's ever <laughs> going to kill Gungan first. You definitely better be running logistics. <laughs> if somebody kills Gungan first, the game's won. It's just won. because they could. Yeah. <laughs> that means right. you're playing Vader and you had enough damage to do it. So Kira decides to be an adult here and roll into five damage? No, that is two three for ones. That what is, is six. That? That's two. That's three for one, three for one. Oh, I didn't see the pay yes. side because it was turned. Yeah, both, that's, that's six both, damage. Yes, that's six straight damage. Yeah. And he keeps disrupting the money, which is smart because yeah. it's, it's holding her off. She does spend two to get another mod down. Yeah, it's it's going to be the art caster. caster. Uh, she resolved the resource. What do you think? Is there a three cost mod? No. No? I wonder what she needed that I mean, extra resource well, for. Well, the six side, I think, costs three on the shadow caster. It, there right. is a three pay side, and she only has two mods. So she right. still needs a resource. But I she... probably would have still waited at that point, right? Unless she just doesn't have anything else. Mm, I don't know. She's definitely she hasn't got the astromech yet, which is something she would have wanted to have had before now. Yeah, I mean astromech is really something that you need immediately. Yeah, it's crucial. And that's kind of where what I was talking about earlier. This deck's a lot less consistent. Yes. With uh, L three engineer engineer, you're almost guaranteed the mods that you want by the end of turn two. Mm-hmm. There's very few times that you uh, have a miss for no mods. Yeah. Plus that extra card in hand later on when you don't, even if you don't need it, is not, it's nice to have for rerolls. All right. So Django uses take flight to reroll, I believe, two of his yellow die oh, with yes. ambush. Thank you, Kira, for that yellow uh, villain mitigation. He got a resource and some more damage. Uh, two got, for damage? Yep, two damage. So he's got eight damage sitting out there right now. He can one shot the He can one shot gun. hired gun or Gungan. Yeah, true. I don't know. At this point, I'd probably get rid of Gungan because hired gun's basically... Uh, dead like three dead sides which he did yeah not only but the reason or to finish what i was saying <laughs> hired guns basically three blanks because she's not wanting to spend its resources yeah and it's also activated already whereas gungan wasn't yeah so, so it gets just, the red of that die for that turn yeah or a potential uh, which if she'd had garbage shoot, she would have used it right and she didn't have any money either so uh, at this point she's very far behind in the uh damage pool or even getting the shadow caster set and which, I mean, still, like, one bad round for uh, Django at this point and one good round for her could mean the end of the game. Oh, yeah. Because she's got the two big damage uh, the... two big damage mods down, mm -hmm. and if she can get R2 or the Astromech down for the reset, she can easily Pop at off. least wipe a character down. Like, no questions asked. If she max rolled, it would kill, you could kill both of them. Yeah. At this point. Oh, right. man, there Speaking you go. of max rolling. 
three for one and two, so that's five more damage. And it puts him at seven, I believe. I think. Yeah, it would put him one damage shy of uh, dead. All right, so we see some more damage coming down from the shadow caster. Jeff's just gonna. Oh well, he doesn't have any resources at the moment. Well, we're at the other. Where were they at the situation again? Where um. Uh, he has no uh, redeploys. Yeah. So if Han goes down, she Kira has a weapon, but yeah. um, if he can see a holdout and overwrite, you know, if he knows he's going to lose him, right. it would still help him out. Like I said, it's not necessarily a lost game for the Shadowcaster reset yet, but it's definitely not looking good. Yeah. Our gun has, what, six or four damage? Looks so like four, yeah, so four yeah. health. Not able to resolve. I would that's, definitely pitch and reroll probably. That's the uh, beauty of a dice game, though. Django could roll 12 mm -hmm. blanks next turn, you know, you never know. Yep, like, or like that where he re-rolls but not Gets hitting no damage, damage he can resolve. Yet. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing with running uh, dice that have a lot of pay sides. Right. It gets a little complicated sometimes. Uh, so he got a resource and it looks like he's overriding. Uh, that holdout. The, for the holdout, yep. There's his redeploy in case Han goes down. Yep. Which we saw him do earlier too, so I figured it might be coming up again if he had the chance. Right. Everybody goes for Han first. I don't, I always go, I, Kira to me is a bigger threat. She just does more damage. Well, I think Han has more damage sides with his uh, special included. He does. And he also doesn't have any resource damage sides. So if you're having to spend all of your money on mitigation or on weapons or anything like that late game, then Kira has less of a chance to deal damage than Han does. Yeah. But also, if they're not spending that money, then... Kira has a higher burst damage potential. So it's really, yeah. you know, it's really one or the other. You just got to pick your side. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's how I run my deck, but it's not with Han. It has Rex in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I rely on that ability to use my villain cards where people don't expect it. Right. All right, so we did see targeting Astromech come down, which is really strong in Shadowcaster. It may lets you turn your dice down to whatever side that you want, which now that she has three mods, pretty much guarantees the six damage side. Unfortunately... Which he, for he used Django, to drop in, but he, uh, no damage. I was going to say, unfortunately for her, he just dropped into lethal, but no damage was showing. <laughs> no damage. He does use uh, take, flight. take Flight, though. Good lord, to more resources. For still no damage, and that's just like what we were saying earlier. He's got all these actions to get damage out, and he's not getting any. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'd probably just roll in Han yeah. for his extra action, right? Yeah, just I get would. as many dice out there as you can, try and kill. Because there's nothing she'd be able to play at that point to mitigate all your dice, unless right. you just roll very poorly, which he's been doing in this round oh we didn't uh, there's some damage which actually is enough to kill uh and he's got the resources so unless she's got mitigation game's over Mm-hmm. because that's what the three for one on the xa and the two so that's five damage right and it only needs four <clears throat> oh, so i'm sorry and there's a one on the haunt the hidden a hidden motive yeah, yeah. on for the x8, the and x8 a for a blank so he can easily use the action on it yeah I mean, he's got three right now, currently. I'd probably just go ahead and resolve the damage that you've got. Oh, and bait there's and the bait switch. for the win. There it is. And there's game. <laughs> overkill. <laughs> Very overkill. <laughs> he didn't even need to go to the yeah. three for one. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the power of Honkira, being able to throw out a ton of damage that you can't do anything about. And meanwhile, on the other side, we've got a showcase for why, in my opinion, Engineers is the better version. Because that was, what, three rounds, four rounds yeah, of, of before Shadowcaster was loaded up. Yeah, and never got to reset. Yeah, never got to reset once and basically never even resolved its die. It yeah. got, like, one damage die down. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, guys. That was the end of round five. We'll see you back again soon for round six.